Four is a long night for a lot of folks in our viewing area. That includes folks in Macon County. A tornado touched down there early this morning. That's where WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live this morning, where a possible tornado touched down. And Bethany, now that the sun is coming up, what are you able to see there? Yeah, we are getting a little bit better view now that there is some light. I can't really say that sun is coming out because it's really cloudy. And just as we started talking, it actually started raining here. But I will show you that you can see this is Milstead Farm Group's building. It's been here since 1998. I understand what used to be here was about a 300 by 300 size building, mostly built with metal and also two seed houses that were each about 90 by 200 feet. Well, now you can see it's really just a, a pile of mangled metal that seems to be twisted up, which you may also be able to see is um, you have to cross the railroad tracks to get onto the Millstead property. These are power lines. These are pretty significant power lines that are across the train tracks for miles. Actually, these are huge power poles that have been knocked over. As far as I can see, they're about 100 yards spaced out apart. As far as I can see in either direction, they are knocked over for miles onto these train tracks. So that's going to be an issue that probably the railroads will have to deal with as well. I have seen Alabama Power trucks driving up and down at this county road of 40, which is where we are right off of, county, uh, of Highway 229, uh, assessing the damage, but really hasn't been an opportunity to get any work done because of the weather, really. This is Frank Lee, who's the EMA director here in Macon County, along with Jan Fountain, who's a Macon County commissioner. This is obviously the bulk of the damage, but we should also mention that there are some residential homes in this area that also got some damage. We have some residential homes, uh, Bethany, on County Road 8 and County Road 9 that we have been uh, given information, roofs off the houses and windows blown out, and we're going to continue to make assessments on the residential areas, but thank God no fatalities and no major injur injuries. Yeah, Commissioner Fountain, I know obviously this is, is fresh and new, and a lot of people are still just waking up. The sun is still coming up, and the rain just won't seem to stop for very long, but what is it you want folks in your district to understand? Well, number one, not to come to this area because right now it's not safe because the power lines down and that are in the road and the trees that are down. But, you know, that we're here to do whatever we can for the, the residents in this community. But mainly they need to stay home and stay safe. Yeah, stay home and stay safe and let this weather pass through as well. We should mention that this County Road 40 is blocked to traffic, so you won't be able to enter this area without some sort of clearance. There are uh, there are officers that are stationed at each end and only letting officials come through this area or unless you have some ties to the Millstead Farm Group. We do know uh, we were able to speak with uh, some office workers, the office manager, the president here of Millstead Farm Company who said they're literally millions of dollars worth of equipment of seed. This is a cotton gin plant, so obviously not uh, in the planting season right now, but just a few months to go really that before they can they need to get this area repaired and get back to work. So this work is going to start really quickly. Just as soon as the weather clears up and the sun comes up, they are already on the property assessing the damage right now. They need to get that cleared up. They say planting season is September, so we only have a few months to work with to make sure we get this repaired and get things back in order. All right, Bethany. Bethany's been out there for us all morning. She'll continue to stay out there for a little while longer and get a better view as the sun does attempt to come up there in Macon County. Yeah, because of that storm damage, lots of school systems delaying their openings today. We'll take a look at some of the ones for you. You can at any point today, though, check out WSFA.com or our 12 News app for the latest on those school delays. Montgomery County Public Schools, Otaga County Public Schools, Alex City, Pike Road Public Schools, as well as Lead Academy are all opening two hours later than normal this morning. Elmore County Schools will delay their start until 9 a.m. Tallapoosa County and Tallahassee City Schools will start at 10 a.m. Again, if you didn't hear your school system there, that means either it is on time or we have a bunch of others on our website, WSFA.com and the WSFA 12 News app. So check there for the very latest. Still ahead this morning, we'll take a look at your local headlines, including some political news. Coming up on 639 now. And you're